Today in 2008, we are all familiar with the hard reality of global warming. We know the atmosphere is heating up and that human activity is largely responsible. But what are the long-term implications for Florida and for the people who live along Florida's coast? A warmer atmosphere causes our polar ice caps to melt. NASA captured this footage showing how rapidly polar ice has been melting over the past few years. Large land ice masses, such as the Greenland ice sheet, are melting at alarming rates. The infamous Northwest Shipping Passage, previously blocked with thick, frozen ice, is now opening up, 63 years ahead of scientists' predictions. With the rapid ice melting in the Arctic and Greenland, many respected scientists now project possible sea level rise of one and a half feet in the coming 50 years and three to five feet by the end of the century, possibly more. To some, three feet of sea level rise might not sound like much, yet the latest technology shows that just three feet of sea level rise would devastate low-lying coastal areas of Florida. The following are images that depict what Florida might look like with three feet or more of sea level rise. Historic St. Augustine virtually disappears with just over three additional feet. Here is what Key West looks like with almost five feet. Downtown Tampa, Daytona Beach with six and a half feet. Metropolitan Miami, with over $400 billion in coastal assets, is internationally recognized for its vulnerability to the dangers posed by global warming. Architecture 2030 created this Google Earth animation for the Southeast Coastal Climate Network to illustrate just how vulnerable Miami is to rising seas. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, an international group that studies economic data, issued a report in 2007 that ranks Miami among the top 10 most vulnerable cities on Earth to the impacts of sea level rise. According to the Miami-Dade Climate Change Task Force, just three to four feet of sea level rise will have significant impacts on the county. Spring high tides would reach six to seven feet. Precious freshwater resources would be lost. Barrier islands and parts of the Everglades would be inundated. The dangers are clear. However, we are not consigned to this fate. If we take meaningful action today, we can avoid the worst case scenario, but it is up to us to take the necessary steps to protect our future. By the year 2050, society must reduce global warming pollution to 80 percent below 1990 levels in order to stabilize our climate. Every citizen must be part of the solution. Fortunately, dedicated scientists, entrepreneurs, and community leaders are already working diligently to solve this problem, but they need your help. We need more voices speaking out for change. Your actions can make a difference. Learn more about what you can do to reduce global warming pollution at www.cleanenergy.org.